Hi, I'm Morris Lovett. And I'm Drew Schaefer. And this is Studio, Studio 143 News. News. Today we'll be covering March's Reading Month, the Salmon Expo, closing of the movie market, and girls' tennis. Studio 143 News. Now to Ashlyn Bailey on March's Reading Month. Hi, I'm Ashlyn Bailey, and here's an inside look at what goes on during March's Reading Month in the Eaton Rapids community. During month of March, members of Eaton Rapids High School Interact Club visit Greyhound Early Learning Center and reads to various age classrooms, newborn to four-year-olds. Read is important for a child's growth, so this partnership is both productive and fun for all involved. <laughs> My favorite daddy, please read books. For Studio 143 News, this has been Ashlyn Bailey. Thanks, Ashlyn, for the update on March's Reading Month. Now to Morris Luckett for an update on the Salmon Expo. I'm Morris Luckett, and this week I got to take a look at the Salmon Expo. Mrs. Kane's class participates in the Salmon Classroom Program through the Department of Natural Resources. They are given about 200 salmon eggs in the fall and raise them in their classroom until the spring and release them into the Grand River. As a part of the program, many students are taught a series of lessons about Great Lakes and the salmon's life cycle. I like doing the Salmon Expo because it's kind of fun to help, to help the other kids have an opportunity to learn about salmon. We, um, we have 4,000 to 5,000 eggs that naturally get laid, but we're making it easier for us who are only presenting 200 Okay. For Studio 143 News, this has been Morris Luckett. Thanks Morris Luckett for the exciting news of the Salmon Expo. Now to Sarah Roman for the closing of the movie market. Hi, my name is Sarah Roman and this week I got the chance to look at the Eaton Rapids movie market. At the end of March, a local staple will be closing. The movie market has provided entertainment to the Eaton Rapids community for many years. Many families will be looking for a new movie place to call home. Closing the movie market after 30 and a half years here in Eaton Rapids. I started in 86 in February in Charlotte when uh, I first got hired in and worked six months there and then we moved uh, here to open a new store. Figured after 31 years doing video renting, going from VHS to DVDs to Blu-rays, it's been a career. I can say it's been long enough and uh, the owner, Bill Kelly, uh, his health isn't the best. It's Sarah Roman for CU 143 News. Thanks, Sarah, for the fantastic information on the closing of the movie market. Now, to Drew Schaefer with sports. Hi, I'm Drew Schaefer, and this week I got to take a look at the girls' tennis team. The 2017 tennis team looks to get off to a great start. They've been practicing for two weeks now to prepare for their first match when they host Charlotte High School on March the 28th. Coach Anderson has been coaching for several seasons now and looks to lead the Lady Grays this year. The goal for the 2017 girls tennis team is always to perform our best. We want to make it to states. It takes 18 points at a regional tournament, and our regional's fairly tough. They add teams like from the other side of the state, like Flint Powers and things of that nature. So to improve, we've been working out, getting conditioning done in the gym because the weather outside hasn't been great. Our season outlook is probably one of the best ones in years. We have a tremendous number of returning, solid players. We've got a couple new kids that are very good. We have a lot of students who are just very devoted to the sport, and they've got great attitudes. They work hard. They don't complain. So we're off to a great start. We're hoping for a great season. For Studio 143 News, this has been Drew Schaefer. A Studio 143 good luck to the girls' tennis team this season. This has been Drew Schaefer. And Morris Luckett. And, and that's, that's the way the, the Greyhound, Greyhound growls. Looking at me, goldfish, goldfish, what do you mean? I hate you.